Previously on Midnight Train, we had some team bonding moments. We had some uh, growing. We had some emotional moments. We learned about the true history of Apollo. We had some uh, hardcore teamwork. We planted some. Uh, interesting plot threads, which are very likely going to grow the further we go down the line. We still don't really know anything about Luna's origins, and we don't know about Neil's origins other than he had a hard family life, where he was put down pretty much constantly. Told he was worthless for so long that he just became an inherent belief. Just a voice that's always there in your own head, even when no one's currently telling you. Even when no one's around to currently do that to you. When it's done to you for long enough, it just becomes a voice in your head that sticks around. You know? I can speak to that personally. I feel you, Neil, my boy. So, being with Luna has been an overall positive experience for Neil so far. As we read from the note that Luna gave Neil. I gotta say, that was one of the more cool touches. That bit where he got to control everyone. They all had their own unique inventory based on what they've been doing so far. I, that thread from Apollo's letter particularly interests me. very curious to see how that's going to tie into everything else. We should probably pick up here and progress. We had some library books to read. There's more mystery books on the bookshelf. I'm sure you like these kinds of books. I love them! In particular, I like Arthur Conan Doyle's books. I love Sherlock Holmes. I wish I could have all his books. You don't have money to buy them? The problem isn't the money. I don't have a house. So I don't have any place to store so many books. You don't have a house? I left home a while ago, so now I stay in inns while I travel. I must go light on luggage. As a result, I don't have many belongings. I thought you were a typical rich guy. Really? Why'd you think that? That's the impression you gave me. That's the opposite. Time to time, I have to do a low-paying job to continue traveling. I guess every person has their own story. Interesting. We've seen that. I do hope that Apollo gets a, that chance down the line. Oh, look at this! Hmm? It's a book about sign language. I'm gonna keep it. Ah! Why do you want that book? To communicate with Luna. Luna knows sign language. If I learn it, she won't have to use that notebook to talk to me. I want her life to be a little easier. It's gonna be a hassle to write everything you want to say in a notebook. I get to learn sign language just for one person? That's crazy. It isn't as easy as you think. Well, I admit that I'll mainly do it for Luna. But I'll also be able to communicate with more people. I still think it's crazy. But seeing the smile that the Traveler has on her face right now, I think the effort will be worth it. Oh, That's a... Daniel, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Wood American. What's this? Oh, this is the only book I've read in this library. Merry Adventures of Robin Hood. Why'd you read this book? It was a friend's favorite book, so I was curious. I almost fell asleep reading it. I don't understand how you can like books. Is that friend the person you mentioned when we talked about the Black Gear? Yes. She was the only friend I ever had. One day she left Ravenwall and never came back. Hey, we're all your friends. Do you assume we're friends? I only call those who I consider my friends by their names, Detective. And stop calling me Detective! That, that's the point. Well, five minutes are already passed. Let's go. What a pity. I would like to explore the library a bit more. But I agree. We should go. I wouldn't want to miss the train because of this. Well, time to go. Let's save again. What 
what it says. It's an old typewriter. Any new conversation? Nope. Same conversation. I gotta check. Oh. Morse code. What the hell does this mean? These paintings weren't like that before. This is Morse code. What is that? It's a communication method. Which each letter and number is represented with a code consisting of dashes and dots. Let me pull up a Morse code reference real quick. Then each, then each picture represents a letter. Yes, and Morse code. There we go, International Morse Code. Dot, dash, dot, dot. First one is an L. I think the paintings form a word that we should write on that typewriter. Do you know Morse Code? Unfortunately, no. What do we do now? Turn to the library. It's very likely that there's a book about Morse Code in there. That isn't a bad idea. Luna's notebook will be helpful. We should write down the codes of these paintings. So, L. What? L. L L L E uh, L L E B E L L E B E L L E B E U What is this? spell a word or something, but L L E B E U L B. Oh I mean Oh wow. Nothing happened. So in theory Find Morse code. Morse code. Okay. Well. Nothing happened. Detective, this doesn't work. That's weird. I'm sure we deciphered the code correctly. <laughs> I guess Le Bill isn't a word. Maybe we aren't reading it correctly. Draw the right track. Just have to think a bit more. <laughs> do you think about if I break the typewriter, the door will open? Don't do that. Do we have to unscramble the word? Why are they so obsessed with locked doors? So that we don't get to the train in time. Okay. So they acknowledge that we deciphered the code track correctly. So we can obviously get Bulb out of that. But that leaves us with what? U L B E E L L. Don't fucking autocorrect me, phone. Jesus. A 
that's exactly what I wanted to say. Phone stuff. They don't don't auto correct me. So we can get bulb out of it. We're left with E E L L. We can get bell out of it. Yes, that's what I want. I, I type out bell. I don't want to say hell. Fucking Christ phone. Bell Pew. Ah. Uh. Ah. <laughs> Nothing happened. Shit. I need to translate this somehow. Is there another shiny around to help me? <gasps> oh no, that's the Morse code. Horror books. Fantasy books. Fairy tales. Adventure books. Let's see what kind of books here. Economics books. Politics. <sighs> Maybe I'm reading them backwards. If I reverse L dot dot dash dot is that a we get F F E reverse B dot 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 dash we get V E reverse U dash dot we get D L to F F-F-E-V-E-D-V. -E -E okay, that gives us something to work with. If it's not that, then I'm not sure what to do. F-F-E-V-E-D-F-V. -E -E Nothing happened. That's... fuck. This reversed. Blue. Oh, reversed, it spells bluebell. It seems that was the right word. The door opened. Ah. That's interesting. Really a little unexpected, but sure. Nothing inside. The trash. Nothing on the board. Curse! Wasn't there a similar room in the first building? There was also a word on that board. Now that you mention it, you're right. What was the word? I don't remember it. Midnight Express. The name of the train, right? Yes, and I've already deduced that the train's cursed. Why do they write things we already know? No idea. Maybe there's also something written in the other buildings. Maybe it's something more relevant than this. It's written that Neil is a QT pie. Neil's a good boy. 
What is this? Behind this door is the train. Really? Oh, fuck. Ah, the door's locked. There's the key to open it. Oh, I'm gonna take it. Wait. Huh? Traveler. Isn't this familiar? A wooden door in poor condition. Eh? What are you talking about? Get open the door using that key. Oh, I could break it. Break it? Why? It's more fun this way. Come on, traveler. This time we'll break this door together. Wait! Character growth. Are you gonna stop? Are you gonna try to stop us? Don't be so boring. Don't forget about me. I want to break it too. Yeah! Huh? I didn't expect that coming from you. Very well. Let's break it. All three of us. All four of us? Cells don't complain. You can't break a door. I will peck at it. Watch me. Are you ready? Let's do something together one last time. One last time. Three, two, one. Now! Yeah! Whoa! Amazing. Oh, I can already see the train from here. Let's go. It's time. Oof. Yep. There it is. Finally, the train. We made it thanks to you, Apollo. Thank you. Now tell us about your plan to escape. My plan? He just wants us to help sell us escape, isn't it? He told us he had a plan to get on this train without a pocket watch, right? How can we help you? Oh, right. I did say something like that. <sighs> this is my plan. Huh? What do you mean? To get Celis on the train without a pocket watch. I want you to take Celis with you. Celis doesn't need a pocket watch to escape since she hadn't, hasn't received one. I needed someone I could trust who could help Celis escape. You're the right people. I know you will escape from all the buildings. I want Celis to be able to fly, fly freely again. Wait a minute. In the beginning, you never planned to come with us. Is that true? I don't have a pocket watch. I can't get on the train. But I thought you had a plan. That was my plan. That's my plan! I want Celis to escape, even if I can't. Only you can help me. That's my last wish. Do you want us to leave you here? We can't do that. There's no other way. It, no, I refuse, Neil. I don't want to get on that train without you. We can't leave you here. I don't want to stay either here, here either, but we can't do anything about it. I must stay here forever. You aren't going to stay here forever. We're going to save Diana. We're going to save you. You know? Being trapped here isn't very different from what my life was like before I got on the train. I was alone. Lived in an alley. At least here I have food and a place to live. It isn't that bad. That's why I'd already accepted that I was going to stay here forever. It's easier to accept it when you no longer feel like fighting. But... Since I met you, I've been thinking about how amazing it would be to escape and start from zero. I managed to escape, maybe my life would be better. Damn it. Because if you are now, I want to keep fighting. I don't want to stay here. Let's think of you for wait for you to escape. We still have time. Haven't you read the, no the note? Can't get on the train without breaking the rules. The rules? Do you know what the punishment is for breaking the rules? I haven't thought about it, but it's probably death. But you aren't sure, right? Well, the note doesn't specifically specify what the punishment is. <laughs> uh oh. Then I'll get on the train. Oh. Huh? What are you saying? The punishment? I don't care about the punishment. I wouldn't even know what the punishment is. There's a small possibility that it isn't death, right? That's true, but. Besides, if I die, they'll be doing me a favor. Don't say that! I'd rather die than stay here forever. At least I will have tried. I don't want to give up yet. Wait a minute, Apollo. I can't accept this. I don't want you to die or get hurt. Would you prefer me to stay here? No, that isn't what I wanted to say. There are still two buildings left. Perhaps Lunu and I will find a way for you to escape. When I was young, my father died in an accident. Soon after, my mother remarried another man. A corrupt policeman who beat me every day. As of him, I had to escape from home when I was very young. I ended up living on the streets. I can't remember the last time I slept well. One day I met someone who gave me a bit of light in my life. 
that person disappeared and I could never find her again. Later, I accidentally killed a drunk man. Trying to run away, I got on this stupid train and ended up here. Finally, in this building, a person betrayed me and stole my pocket watch. Luna, Neil, I don't believe in miracles anymore. Please, let me accompany you. What if the punishment is, I will accept it. This is my only chance to get on the train. Besides, you said you'd rather die fighting till the end, right? That's what I'm going to do. Apollo. It's difficult to accept a decision like this, but he's already made up his mind. If that's what you want, I will accept it. Neil, I don't want my decision to affect you. I trust your abilities. I know that you and Luna will be able to discover the truth about this place. I don't think that people trapped here have a possibility to escape. That's why I want to try. I don't want that train to take away my freedom. I won't let it decide my fate. You don't want to separate from me either, right? Don't worry. We'll escape together. If something goes wrong, Luna and Neil will take care of you. Time to get on that train. Are you ready? I am. Let's find out what the punishment is. Luna, everything is going to be okay. Don't worry about me and get on the train. He used her, he used her name! Ah! He used the, both their names. We're finally friends. I'm afraid to see what the punishment's going to be. <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound good. Huh? No, please, no. Apollo. Apollo! What happened? Everything happened so fast. Apollo got on the train. Suddenly I saw a lot of blood, and his body disappeared. This is... Ah, uh, no. Apollo's eye. There's no doubt. This can't be happening. No. No! Well, fuck! Thanks for waiting here while I was investigating. Luna, I'm afraid I don't bring good news. I can't determine what happened to Apollo. I don't know where his body is. I can't tell if he's alive or dead. Though he's most likely. Anyway, all I can say is that he lost an eye. Oh! I also discovered something else. I was examining the eye. It started to grow and move by itself. It became one of those eyes that we saw in the building. Did they break the rule? Oh, oh, fuck. Shit. The skulls are the souls of people who have died here. The eyes belong to the people who have been punished. Shit. Since that eye belonged to Apollo, I couldn't bring myself to crush it. So it's better if you don't go in there. Celis isn't there either. She disappeared with Apollo. Shit. Why'd they also punish Celis? Is it part of Apollo's punishment? There was no need to do that. Apollo really wanted was for Celis to escape. It's the worst punishment he could get. Uh, oh. Luna. I've never been as angry as I am now. I feel so powerless. One of my goals was to save the people trapped here, like Diana. I don't even know if I can save Apollo. I can't save a dead person. I've had enough of this. I hate this stupid train. I promised that I would discover the truth about this place. We'll escape from here and prevent more people from ending up in this situation. It's a battle I'm going to win, even if it's the last thing I do. Midnight Express, get ready. Luna and I will be the ones that are going to break this curse. Hot diggity! Oh man! <laughs> that was a big punch to the gut. Holy Apollo!
You were so weird and standoffish at first, but in reality, you turned out to be a pretty good, pretty good guy who just had rough lot in life. In life, really unfortunate lot in life. I drove him to this point, point. and it really made really made sense too that he would try it. That he would try to get on. It just. Just wasn't wasn't gonna happen. And now he is Damn. To be continued. Oh save a clear file. Save a clear file. That's if I continue from this. Oh, it just don't back to the beginning. Alright. Just checking. That save data is probably the... Just the clear file. I don't even know what that clear f save prompt is. Maybe it just creates the file that signifies the next chapter is unlocked. So the chapter 2 release, it, uh, came with, uh, no saves but a pre, but a cer certain data file, chapter 1 complete. See, maybe if, maybe if the next chapter was in there, loading that save would just automatically start us out with the next chapter. Maybe. I don't know, I've never actually delved too deeply into the RPG Maker mechanics, uh, inner programming workings, so don't actually know. Be interesting to be interesting to learn one of these days. We'll see. But for now, we've successfully cleared our second building. We finally found out what happens when you break the rules. We're not sure what happened to the rest of Apollo, but it's not promising. It is not promising. In the slightest. I'm so sorry, my friend. And Celeste, too. Damn. It, I'm gonna say, compared to Diana, really made sense why Apollo wanted to... Really differing perspectives and characters. As far as Diana, who knew what she had to do to get out, and knew the lengths she had to go, but in the end, she kind of backpedaled at the last minute. Couldn't really go through with doing a killing and the thought of leaving other people behind to be doomed. And then she opted to stay behind. Apollo, who had had not failed, but had been betrayed, approached her from a different perspective when he just didn't trust them when they first got there gradually warmed up to them. It was actively working against the rooms to get them to the end. Essentially knowing that it's an odd dichotomy of sorts between knowing that you don't have much of a life to go back to, but Essentially, you don't have anything to lose. If you succeed in surviving the punishment and getting out, you can start over from zero. If you fail, where well, then you've pretty much hit as much of a rock bottom as you could possibly get to at this point. Apollo didn't have anything left to lose, and he just went for broke. And he got burned pretty badly. We 
We've got threads of black gear. Neil's past. Why Neil's so interested in them. Why he's out to become a detective. Who was the Celine? Who was talking to a? Who was friends with Apollo? What are her ties to the Black Gear? What are Luna? What's Luna's origins? Don't know. Again, subtle for a game that's just, that the premise is pretty much escape these four buildings to win. It's subtle how. The plot is starting to develop in this game. Very nice. It's very nice. Definitely looking forward to chapter three and more down the line. Until next time. Until then. <laughs>